is Grade 5 Natural Sciences and Technology. And my name is Onkarabe Zesezwe. And guys, today we will be continuing with um, Term 1 revision. Okay, so I see uh, um, the title here is saying Kahoot. It is not Kahoot, guys. That is a mistake. Um, that is a mistake. Ne? Remember, we are doing Term 1 revision. All right, so as mentioned um, from Monday that we will be doing revision this week and you guys will have a test on Thursday, the 23rd, right? This is next week. And the scope for your test is life and living as well as matter and materials. Okay, life and living as well as matter and materials. And I will take um, questions. I see Bulelo has their hand up. I will take your question now, now Bulelo. Um, guys, the test is out of 45 marks. Yeah? So the assessment of the test, it will be out of 45 marks and it is an hour long. All right. So let me just quickly take um, the question. Bulela. Afternoon, ma'am. Good afternoon. Ma'am, um, one of my friends is trying, is struggling to get onto the meeting. So I'm not sure how to help her. Is there any way that... Just send, send the meeting link to your friend so that um, your friend can enter the meeting. Okay, just send the meeting yes, link, the link that you used, just um, send it to him or her so that they can also access. Okay. Thank you, ma'am. Awesome. All right, um, Karina? He spelled, uh, he, spelled, he spelled life wrong by life and living. Oh, oh yeah, I life. see the life is with an F and not a V, right? Yeah. All right, cool. Thank you for that um, correction there. I see you are very much awake. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> okay, so guys, remember, it is life and living. These are the topics that you need to study for, um, for, for the test next week, Thursday. And yeah, the test is out of 45 marks. Sakura? Ma'am? Yebo. You said, you said that this wasn't a group, ma'am. But I was going to ask, ma'am, are we ever going to play Kahoot with you, ma'am? Are you guys ever going to play Kahoot with me? If we manage to finish revising, if we finish tomorrow with the content, then we can play Kahoot on Friday. But we okay, did take a hood um, <laughs> last week, last week Friday. I think you were not okay, there. Man. Yeah, cool. All right. So guys, yesterday we spoke about, um, we looked rather at the differences between invertebrates as well as vertebrates. And we said that vertebrates um, are animals that are, or rather that do not have a backbone. And vertebrates have a backbone. Right, and we said that we have different types of vertebrates. Examples are mammals, reptiles, etc. So today we will be moving on to skeletons as structures. Okay, I see Sum Sumaya has a question or comment. Okay, Sumaya, hello. Hello, ma'am. Ma um, I just wanted to say my name is Akila and. Um, I just wanted to ask, what is kahoot? Oh, okay. Um, don't 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 mind the kahoot thing, because we are not we're not using kahoot now. As I said, that that was a mistake. Ne? That was an error from my side. Okay. Okay, ma'am. Cool. So your name is Akila. All right. I'll keep that in yes, mind. Thank you. All right. So let's continue with skeletons as structures. All right. Tando is saying good afternoon. Afternoon, Tando. Okay, structures, guys. So a structure is something that is arranged or put together in a specific way and it is made up of different parts. Then most structures are designed to remain stable and rigid, which means they should not break and crumble, right? They have different functions and jobs. So I'm going to ask you, Malik, um, I see your hand is up. I believe you had a question. Okay. Ma'am? Yeah, both. What part are we doing structures, uh, um, structures today, ma'am? Yes, we're doing 
skeletons as structures. So that is also a topic under life and living. Life and living. Ma'am, is it um, um, term two? Term oh, one. sorry, ma'am. I'm term one. I'm going to find it. And um, I will tell you, ma'am. <laughs> okay. So you don't know it off by heart. The functions or jobs of structures. No, ma'am. Okay, cool. So who has an answer for me? Um, the different functions and jobs of a structure. The different functions or jobs of a structure. You guys can raise your hand or you can type it for me in the group chat. Okay, so Malik, once you've got it, just raise see your hand again, yeah? Okay, so who can give us the answer to this question? The different functions and jobs of a structure. Anyone? Anyone? You can send through your answers to the group chat or you can raise your hand. As remember, you did this in school, yeah? so it should just be right at the back of your head. So no one knows the functions or jobs that structures have. Okay, okay. Let's hear Karina, thank you for the hand. I was getting a bit worried there. Yeah? Yes. Um, Ma'am, structures are to keep things like buildings and houses and everything like that, like um, to keep them stable so they don't fall. And most structures that are used are like triangles. Okay, so Karina says that structures are to keep buildings, etc., stable. And then she also says that um, in order for us to strengthen the structure, we can use triangles. Okay, guys, may just indicate for me, did you guys do this topic? Did you guys understand this topic? Because um, if you do not, then we should go um, a bit slower. So, so I will need an indication from you guys. All right. Okay, so I see a no, I know it, yes. Okay, if you know it, I need answers, ne? Thank you, I need answers. Ndando says to make um, a building strong. All right, thank you, Ndando. Um, okay, okay. No problem. <laughs> so no one's changing um, their answer saying no, ma'am. Okay, so the different functions or jobs of structures, all right, they are used to support Okay, so we can use structures to support buildings. They are used to protect, they are used to enclose, and they are also used to help with movement. Okay, so an example of a structure is in your body, you have a skeleton structure. Okay, so that skeleton structure helps to keep your body upright. It also helps you with movement, okay? So that is also an example of a structure. Then we have a three kinds of structures. So remember from here, these are the functions, okay? These are the functions of structures. They either support, protect, enclose, or help with movement, right? Structures either support, protect, enclose, or help with movement. So when we speak about a structure enclosing is that it is keeping something safe. Okay, so it is keeping something inside safe. Okay, then we move on to the three kinds of structures that we find. So the first one is a frame structure. Secondly, we have what we call shell structures. And thirdly, we have what we call solid structures. Okay, so and then we are going to look at all those three kinds of structures into greater detail. Okay, so let us start with the first one, which is frame structures. Guys, again, if I am going too slow or you need, or rather fast, and you need to write down certain things, just indicate for me, okay? You can just use that button here, go slower, okay? 
Okay, um, I see someone just pressed the button. Do you need me to go back, Akila? Okay, so I think I should start here and I'll give you guys a minute to just add on to the notes that you already have. So this is content that you should have covered when you guys were at school. Okay. So this is the content that you guys should have covered when you guys were at school and it is under term one and i'll give you a minute on this slide and on the next slide as well i'll give you guys an extra minute and if you are done with this one just also indicate for me yeah? you can just send it done into the group chat Okay, Mercedes just sent me an indication saying that um, she is done. Then Faith, um, are we going to do a test because I came in now? Okay, Faith, um, the test will be next week, Thursday. Okay, so the test is next week, Thursday. And if you have um, registered for the newsletter, you should have received a newsletter giving you guys instructions as to how you will be writing the test. So if you haven't registered Faith, you just go on africateengeeks.co.za and register. Okay, Register as a learner or ask your parents or guardians to help you to register. Okay. All right, so are we done? I think we still have one person. So, um, Akila. Akila, just indicate for me if you're done uh, so that we can move on. Okay, Dando says they're done. Okay, Faith, I was saying that you should um, register on Africa Teen Geeks and then you will receive a newsletter, okay, which um, indicates or will show you or give instructions as to how we will write. Okay, so just go on the website or you can ask your parents or guardians to help you to register on the online platform, okay, so that you receive the newsletter. The test will be next week, Thursday. All right, so we're done and we can move on. Okay, guys, the three kinds of structures that we find, frame, shell, as well as solid. Okay, frame, shell, and solid structures. And I'll give you guys a few seconds. All right, awesome. So let us look at um, frame structures, okay? So frame structures are easy to identify because they have a frame or a skeleton, okay? So um, our bodies have a frame structure because we have a skeleton, okay? So these structures are built or put together by attaching pieces of material together to make a frame. So if you guys remember from yesterday's lesson, we have, um, rather we looked at the human skeleton, right? And we looked at the different bones that come together to form that skeleton. And examples that we have shoulder blade bones, we have upper limbs, lower limbs, the skull, the backbone, the rib cage, et cetera, okay? And here we have um, a picture that is showing us a frame frame structure, and these are veins in a leaf that form a frame structure, all right. Then here we also have other examples of the frame structures. Here, on this picture on the left is construction workers that use scaffolding, right? Construction workers that use the scaffolding. And we also have triangles in the bridges that make um, strong frame structures. Okay, so can you guys give me other examples of frame structures? Can you guys give me other examples of frame structures as some of us are still writing? 
Anyone, anybody, an example of a frame structure? Malik. Yes. Uh, I see your hand is up. Did you have a question or are you answering? Yes, I will answer it. A frame, a frame structure. In grade four, you learned about different ways to strengthen structures and materials. You know that okay. structures, structures are very strong structures that can support a lot of ways. We can join structures together in triangle shapes to create strong, strong frame structures like bridges and, and cranes. You can see examples from frame structures in picture below. You already know that vertebrates what is have strong. Below? It's um, a building, a building crane, a jungle drum, the Golden Gate Bridge of San San Francisco, San, San Francisco, and then it says the vertebrate skeleton as a frame structure. You already know that vertebrates have strong structures that supports you. Um, that supports and protects the body. All right. You, your, the bones you have, but the bones of vertebrates, skeletons are joined together to form frame, frame structures that are strong enough to carry the weight. In the same way, you learn you in the same way that the structures are of a Pylon are joined together from to form a strong firm work. The bodies in the vertebrate skeleton are also structures struct that are joined together for to form a a strong frame structure. Frame structure. All right. Thank you very much, Miss, yes, for that wonderful content from your textbook, or is that from your notes? Okay, so as you guys have heard, uh, Malik mentioned quite a few examples of frame structures like jungle gyms, and we also mentioned the bridge in San Francisco. All right, so those are one of the examples, or some of the examples rather, of frame structures, and it was also mentioned that the vertebrate skeleton is also an example of a frame structure. All right. Okay, so I believe I can move on and everyone is sorted. Okay, so we have the construction workers here who are using um, scaffolding. So that is also a form of a um, frame structure. And then here we have bridges, right? All the triangles in these bridges make them strong as frame structures. All right. Okay. So let us move on to shell structures. Okay, so shell structures generally hold or protect things inside the structure. Okay, so humans make shell structures to protect and hold things. And can I get examples of um, shell structures that humans make? Okay, so Lily, let's hear from you. Examples of shell structure. Can you give us examples of shell structures that humans make or create? Ma'am, the shell of the shell of a turtle man. The shell of a turtle man. A turtle. Ooh. If the line is quite bad there, I can't hear you clearly. Um, but I think Lily said the shell of a turtle, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, so let's hear what Aquila, let's hear the examples from Aquila. Right, Aquila? Ma'am, some shell structures that I think um, humans made is glass and plastic. Yeah. All right, so glass can hold in liquid and plastic can hold in whatever goods that we are buying wherever. All right, cool. Thank you very much for those answers. Okay, and last one. Let's hear, okay. 
space, your sound is not connected, so I cannot unmute you. Um, let's see, Abulela, the last hand that I'm taking for this question. Bulela? All right, so it seems like we do not have any sound coming through from Bulela. All right, so let us move um, right along. See if we have any answers in the group chat. Um, Neo says, shell structures generally hold or protect things inside the structure. Humans make okay in nature. Egg shells and exoskeletons of invertebrates like crab and the crayfish shells are examples of shell structures. Lisebi saved table chairs as well as the spider web okay so the spider web would be an example of a frame structure okay the spider web would be an example of a frame structure all right so here we have um, an example of a basket right a basket that um, was woven so as you can see in the picture that it has um, or it's carrying lemons or limes okay and then we have um, another example, which is a car. Remember we said that shell structures are protecting things that are found inside. Ne? So the car would generally protect the passengers which are found inside. And we also have the eggshell that was also mentioned by Neo in the group. All right. Beautiful. So um, I think I, I also had one more answer in the group quarter says a house so that's just a quick question what are, would we consider a house a frame structure or a shell structure quarter says a house is an example of a shell structure and i want to know is a house a shell structure do you guys agree with quarter that a house is an example of a shell structure Okay, so let me just get a hand. Um, okay, so in turn, this says it's a frame and shell structure, and that is correct. So it's a combination, right? So house, house guys, it's a combination of structures, All right? Awesome. So let us move on right along. Let's look at strengthening structures. Okay, so how can we strengthen a particular structure, whether it's a shell structure or it's a um, frame structure? All right, how can we um, strengthen these structures? So structures that protect something or hold a weight without breaking or falling need to be really strong. Okay, so corners in structures are very important because it is often the weakest point of the structure. Um, okay, so Akila, do you need me to go back? Or is there something that you missed? Do you need me to go back to the previous slide? Okay, so let me just... Yes. Uh, Yes, ma'am, but I can. Oh, I was... Is it this one? Yes, ma'am. All right, cool. So I'll just give you um, a few seconds to next. Okay. Cool. All right, so let us move on. So we are looking at strengthening structures. We said that corners in structures are very important because it is often the weakest point of a structure. All right, so we need to put um, another support and at times the support is called a brace. 
okay, across a rectangle's corner to make a triangle. And this makes the corner much stronger. So this type of strengthening method is also called triangulation, all right? So this is also called a triangulation. And remember in grade four, again, we also looked at how a triangle can make a square stronger, all right? So in this case, we have a brace and here is the brace, okay? That is strengthening the corner, all right? Okay, and here we also have, um, sorry, also have an example there of another um, triangle which is put at the corner trying to strengthen the corner of this wood. Okay, so and this is called a gasset, right? So this part here is called a gasset. So you can either use a brace or a gasset to um, strengthen your corners. All right, so I think we have, all right, let us move on to our key concepts being the summary. So guys, structures can be shaped as shell or frames. Structures have specific functions, either to protect, support, enclose, or to help us move. Shell and frame structures are in nature. We also have structures, um, or other structures can be strengthened and struts can strengthen structures, okay? So struts being our gazettes as well as braces, okay? Then we can move on to the food chain. So this is the next topic, no? Next topic is called food chain. Just follow in your textbooks, food chain. Food chain, food chain. So guys, if you do have um, any questions, just um, type them out in the group chat. I'm not sure because I see hands. Let me just see if we have questions there. Karina? Okay. Um, ma'am? Yes. Um, so I was saying with, with, the, with the triangle the structures, Oh, okay. So you're saying that um, triangulation strengthens structures. Yeah. All right. Cool. Thank you very much for that. Thank you, ma'am. <clears throat> awesome. Okay. Um, Sakura, your hand is also up. Ma'am? Yes. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Ma'am, I'm a bit lost. Okay, so you'll need to repeat that for me again, ne? or like just type it out in the group chat because um, your sound is buffering or lagging. Ne? All right, just type it out for me in the group chat and I'll help you. Okay, cool. Um, Akila, I think. Akila, also, yeah. Hello, ma yes. Hello, ma'am. Um, I just wanted to ask, at mm -hmm. on what page is it on the Thunderbolt Kids textbook? Uh, on the Thunderbolt textbook. Let me just quickly check for you. Should be around page ninety. Check. Are you using a hard copy textbook? Um, ma'am, I'm using the original one. Okay, the so one. that is okay. So that should be on page seventy-eight. Yes. Right, cool. Guys, video should be off, please. Okay, Malik. Ma'am? Do you have a question? I see your hand is up. 
Yes, lab. Yes. Ma'am, I'm using the um, platinum textbook. So what page will that be? Um, uh, um, I don't know exactly on what page it is on the platinum textbook, but it is just after the um, topic that we have covered uh, now. Now. Yeah, Ma'am, yeah, I see the food chain, but it says food and feeding. Okay, then that is a subtopic of the food chain. So you are on the correct okay. page. So, ma'am. Uh, mm -hmm. Can I read it for you, ma'am, to check if it's right? Okay, just hold on a bit, ne? I will, okay, you, you will read it. Just hold on a bit. Okay, cool. Okay, ma'am. Awesome. Guys, um, if you have questions, just write them in the group chat, ne? So that we can address them much faster. Okay, so write down your questions in the group chat so that we can address them at a faster pace. Okay, um, food chain. The food chain. Okay, so we are looking at food and feeding in plants as well as animals. So Malik, you are in the correct, or rather you are on the correct page. Um, on the Oxford textbook, no, I am not sure, but it is immediately after the topic that we have covered. Okay, so platinum, they say it's page 37. If anyone else is using an Oxford textbook, just um, assist us with the page number. Okay, but guys, you were supposed to make summaries and notes. <laughs> Where are your summaries and notes? Okay, guys, let's get back to the lesson. Right, so um, remember we said that, or rather we looked at photosynthesis, right? Even in grade four, we also said that um, plants can make their own food and they use light energy from the sun, right? Which is absorbed by the chlorophyll, which is found in the leaves of the plants. And plants also take in carbon dioxide from the atmosphere and take in water from the roots, okay? So the roots stay in the soil and they make food and release oxygen. And the food that plants make is called glucose. All right. All right. So animals can't use the sunlight, water, as well as carbon dioxide to make food like plants do. Right. Many animals get their energy from eating plants. And we call these animals herbivores. Right? Some animals eat other animals to get energy, and we call these animals carnivores. And lastly, other animals eat um, both plants as well as animals like baboons or people, and we call these particular animals um, omnivores. Okay, so very much important for you guys to note um, these last three bullets right there that um, animals that eat plants are called herbivores and animals that eat other animals are called carnivores and those that eat plants as well as animal material are called omnivores. All right. Okay, so we get special animals called scavengers as well as decomposers and they eat dead animals and break their bodies into tiny, tiny pieces that that can go um, into the soil as compost. So these pieces must be small enough for plants to absorb, all right? So here we have an example of our carnivorous animal, a herbivorous animal, this is a cow, right? Which is feeding on grass. And we have an example of an omnivore, which is a baboon, which eats both animals as well as plant material. Okay. Right, so let's look at the food chain. The food chain. So who can tell me about the food chain? Anyone in class who wants to tell us about the food chain or what a food chain is? Okay, Karina, I see your hand. Now, ma'am, I love talking about food chains. I love talking about them in my own class. So I can tell you a lot about them. Okay, tell us what your textbook says about the food chain. Well, I don't have a textbook here with me. But oh, your summaries. I... The summaries that you made with regards to this um, chapter. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. um, like, the, on the best, on the, like, the bottom, I think, 
the bottom or the top of our food chain is some vegetables and then there is fruit okay so let's start here explain to me or rather give me a definition of a food chain a food chain is like different types of food like carbohydrates and vegetables and protein it's like those different types of specific foods they are not all the same okay so let me just help you then a food chain usually shows us a feeding relationship between producers and consumers okay yes, and we call plants producers and animals are called consumers yeah all right so you can move on from there um so can i shall i tell you about like the, the what there is in the food chain yes you can just quickly um tell us what you find in the food chain um you find vegetables mm -hmm. you find fruit you find mm -hmm. um you find carbohydrates you find protein like eggs and stuff okay and then you find sugar fats and sugar and oils and all that all right thank you very much karina so i'm just gonna assist karina here now Karina, what you just mentioned, these are nutrients in food, okay? So when we speak about a food chain, we are looking at um, who eats what, okay? Who produces the food in a particular um, ecosystem and who consumes what, all right? So let's hear Faith. Um, Faith, do you have um, an answer for us or a summary for food chain? Okay, Faith, you do need to have mm -hmm. on your side. Yes, Faith. Mm -hmm. I think food is more like the only... Okay, so you will need to speak a bit louder, Faith. Just speak a bit louder. Ma'am, can you hear me now? Yes, I can hear you now. The food chain is more like the order in which animals eat plants and other animals to get energy. All right, beautiful, beautiful. So, um, Karina, I hope you heard what Faith just mentioned. All right, so a food chain is basically showing us or illustrating to us how um, animals eat plants or other animals. All right, so it's an order. All right, thank you very much, Faith. Thank you, ma'am. Awesome. Okay, so in the group, I see Thunder say the food chain shows us the energy that is being transferred from one animal to another, and that is correct. Um, Lissetti says, um, I thought it was about animals. All right. <laughs> well, we are talking about animals, Lissetti, so do not get confused. Now. That is why we mentioned the herbivores, we mentioned the omnivores, and we also mentioned the carnivores. Okay. So we want to see in what order do they eat. So a food chain shows the feeding relationship between plants as well as animals. And then plants are called producers because they produce or make their own food using energy from the sun. They also use carbon dioxide from the air and water from the soil. And that process we call photosynthesis. All right. Okay, so uh, next point here says all food chains start with a producer, which is a green plant, because green plants can make their own food. All right. So here we have the flow of energy, as um, I think Neo um, explained to us that a food chain shows us the transfer of energy from one animal to another. So here we have the sun, which transfers its energy to the plants, the green plants, right? And then once the herbivores eat the green plants, we also have a transfer of energy to the herbivores. And once the carnivores eat the herbivores, we also have a transfer of energy, All right, So this is the transfer or the flow of energy through a food chain. Okay, so I see various hands are up. If you do have a question, just keep your hand up. If you do not have a question, you can just take down your hand so that I can take hands which have questions. And again, guys, as mentioned, you can type your question in the group chat 
then I will answer you there. Okay. Tranquila. All right. Ulema. Yes, ma'am. Ma'am, so a food chain is a. Um, no, ma'am, I just wanted to say what a food chain is. Oh, okay. You can continue. So, ma'am, a food chain is a sequence showing the order in which animals feed on plants and other animals. All right, beautiful. Thank you very much for that answer. So guys, I hope you heard that answer. That is a different way to phrase what a food chain is, okay? Okay, so key concepts. Um, green plants make their own food and to build their branches as well as stems. Then green plants use water, carbon dioxide, and sunlight energy to make food. Plants are called producers. Very important to note, now guys, very important to know that plants are, are called producers and producers are always at the start of a food chain. So animals need food to grow and carry out the life processes. Animals cannot make their own food and have to eat plants or other animals for food. These animals are called consumers. So food chains can describe the feeding relationship between plants as well as animals. And then energy is transferred from the sun to green plants and then to animals in the food chain. All right. So seeing that um, time is not on our side, we will look at life cycles tomorrow. Okay. So guys, please prepare notes or um, summaries on life cycles. So we're going to run through this quick and fast. So you guys should already know what life cycles are. And that is your homework today. Eh? Revise life cycles and make notes on life cycles. Okay, so that brings us to the end of our lesson. And these are the textbooks that we utilized, or rather I utilized, the Via Africa Natural Sciences and Technology textbook that you can get on Snaplify. Right? And we also have the Siapula or the DBE textbook that you can get on the Thunderbolts Kids website. Right. So guys, again, in, with life cycles, also make summaries on metals and non-metals, uses of metals, and processing materials. Okay, so just read through these four topics and make your summaries and notes so that you are fully prepared for the test um, next week, Thursday. Okay, so if you have any questions, you can email the school at stemdigitalschool at africatempix.co.za or you can send me an email at onkarabeta.seso at gmail.com. All right, so if you also need slides or you want me to send you the slides, you can drop me an email and I will um, hook you guys up with the slides, 